It's Madden NFL 24. Coming up, we'll see Kenny Pickett. Solid performance a week ago, throwing for three touchdowns. It's the Steelers and the Browns. All that and more coming up next on EA Sports. Well, the dog pound will be barking as EA Sports is pleased to join you from the always raucous Cleveland Brown Stadium in downtown Cleveland, Ohio. Today we've got an interesting Week 11 matchup on tap as it'll be the Pittsburgh Steelers taking on the Cleveland Browns. Hi again, everyone, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Browns ball club. They come in feeling good after back-to-back -back victories. Meanwhile, for the visiting Steelers, they've been cooking these last couple months, winners of seven of their last eight games. And if you extrapolate that out to a full season, they'd be 14. Well, the defense did their job. They didn't allow any points on the opening drive. Now, second drive of the game, first for this offense. And what can they do with their go around? A handoff to Harris to begin the drive. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football. But that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. Harris going to get it again on second down. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. You look at this Browns defense. Well, they come into this one down at the 27th position in the league, Charles, against the run. And this group talks all the time about wanting to be better, getting stronger against the run. And to me, it all starts up front. You've got to win the line of scrimmage in order to play against the run very well. A gain of 19 and picking up the first. This is an offense that's near the bottom of the league in rushing, so defensively coming in, you've got to know you're going to see the ball in the air a lot. And that time, it's a completion and a first down on this opening drive. Harris running straight ahead, trying to keep those big legs churning, but he's going to go down in the backfield. Miles Garrett showing that athleticism as he gets in to make the play. They'll have to deal with a second and 14 now after the loss. From the gun, here's Pickett. And that nearly an interception here on this opening drive, but he gets a reprieve. It's third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. He's going to float this one deep right side. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Boy, excellent coverage there. Last week he had the interception. One reason why he was the AFC Defensive Player of the Week. So no jokes about not having hands, right? Because he got the pick last week. This week he's knocked down a ball in this game so far. Let's even get an interception as this one continues. This is taken at the 18. It's a 42-yard punt, but eight on the return. And the Browns will take over first and 10. Second drive coming up here for Cleveland is April. Let's get back into the action. The situation, ball in the red zone. It's second down, and the defense needing to step up. Again, it's Watson. And that's going to be caught by Peoples-Jones. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And the Browns are going to have a first and goal coming up as they find a way to convert there on 31. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Here's Watson. And this is caught. Touchdown, Cleveland. Amari Cooper, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Browns will take the lead here final minute of the first half. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front and now 
you see on the sideline, special teams defense. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. A slim deficit here in a one possession game. Not much time left, obviously. We'll see if they can march this down the field, at least get three and take some momentum into the locker room. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Well, these two teams met in Pittsburgh earlier in the year with the Steelers prevailing in that one. So they'll be looking for the win here in Cleveland to complete the season sweep. Setting up the screen, Harris. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. A gain of 10, good for a Steeler first down. They ran that one well, and not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. And this will be caught at the 30. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. And give him a gain of 37. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play, one that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. Boswell's kick is good, and they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. Well, still trailing here, but they do get the late field goal. Now they're deep. Well, points have been hard to come by in this one, and it's the third quarter. Defenses have reigned supreme. Can the defense reign supreme once more on third down? Let's find out. To the right side, and he's got more complete. Touchdown, Browns! Elijah Moore, 26 yards. And the Browns are able to stretch out their lead. That seemed pretty ideal there for the offense, Charles. You take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter, decent length drive, and you pad your lead as well at the end of it. And what it does is let you feel like you're in control of this game, even... No hesitation in this situation. Down a couple scores late in the game. This offense is staying out there on fourth. Here we go. It's Pickett on fourth down. Flush to his right. Wise play by Pickett. Sliding to avoid the... It's a third down situation in the fourth quarter. Time to see if this defense is up to the task. Throwing on third down. Here's Pickett. Able to find his man. It's Pickens. Pickett will look to throw it here. Finding Pickens for another catch. And the Steelers are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. Harris is into the end zone for a Steeler touchdown. So it's a pretty good season he's putting together running the football. That now 10 rushing touchdowns on the year. And we know this is a passing league, and those numbers throwing the football, they seem to go up and up every year. But there's still something to have a reliable back you can count on in the red zone to bring things home for you. And that's what he's been doing all season long. Well, this defense already down on the scoreboard here in a one-score game. They need a stop. They need a quick stop. On first down, it's Watson. Right back to Njoku. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. Now a give, right side, Felton, and there just continues to be nowhere to run. He's bottled up again at the line of scrimmage. And when the defense wins and gives up no yardage on a running play, that's something they can build on and carry themselves forward throughout the game. 
So the Browns in possession of the football here as we get you reset. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop them here. That's complete to Peoples Jones. Well, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. They run the counter. Felton. Now he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. And now with 152 to go, we get another pause of the action. A timeout here defensively. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. Now the Steelers use the second of their three timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Now Watson. That's going to be taken in by Felton. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. And here's a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. They will indeed snap it to Watson. He's got his tight end, David Njoku. Touchdown! David Njoku, 28 yards. And the Browns will add to their fourth quarter lead. And what a weapon he is at the tight end spot because when they throw him the football downfield, they count on him getting additional yardage almost every time. And that's exactly what he did there. Caught that, ran with it, all the way to the end zone. in this situation down a couple scores late in the game this offense is staying out there on fourth look at lost it and the offense will recover but it won't make much difference here this will still be a turnover so cleveland able to come away with the victory here and you look back over the score sheet interesting a very clean game no turnovers by either side an absolute rarity when we watch games now because defenses have put such an emphasis on taking the ball away. But what we saw here was offenses spending their time saying, look, you know they're coming for it. Ball security is paramount. So they worked on that, not just a week of practice, but I'm sure all during training camp. Make sure when you have it, tuck it away because danger lurks everywhere you turn. So for Cleveland, it's a rare victory for them as they get that record back to 3-7. and seven. And they'll hit the road next week to take on the Denver Broncos. Meanwhile, for Pittsburgh, they suffer just their second loss as they drop to 8-2 and two now on the year. And they'll try to turn things around next week as they have a matchup in Cincinnati against the Bengals. That'll do it for us. I'm Brandon Gordon, alongside Charles Davis. Thanks to our entire crew as well. We'll talk to you next time. So long, everybody.